Japanese inspired limb. So we've got a dragon and then a lady in a kimono with little drawers. I was working for a company making realistic looking prosthetic limbs for amputees and uh, there was a little girl that would uh, attend the clinic and I make her realistic limb every year and uh, she wanted something a little bit different though and it started off with little images of pigs uh, eating ice creams, riding bicycles. I could see from a rehabilitation point of view what an impact this had on her. So I thought, oh, this is really interesting, making something alternative and having, rather than a standard kind of replacement, um, exploring the space. And then I thought, well, yeah, we could make some really unusual pieces that kind of spoke from people's soul, as it were, um, and, uh, and, and people's imagination, but turning them into kind of reality um, and works of art. All these have been laser cut, these little wooden pieces. And there's also some secret compartments as well and realistic fingers. So it's almost like just a, an accessory. But I thought wouldn't it wouldn't be wonderful to actually work with someone who shared the vision of, of, of embracing their limb in a, in a, in a different way. Um, and so um, I found Victoria Modesta, who is a performing artist and a singer. And we worked together and I made several covers for her, um, one of which was used in the Paralympic closing ceremony. I think it captured the spirit, but visually, of the Paralympics and, and what it means to be kind of superhuman almost. And so we had the shape of her leg and then just kind of chopped into it and took chunks out and just made it encrusted with uh, crystals and rhinestones. I get to the point where I'm kind of making a, an alternative limb and I think, yeah, this looks really good, but um, it's, it's nothing when it's, um, unless it's being worn by the person that it was intended for. And that is just incredible to see when functioning as a body part. But perhaps someone would go for a realistic op option because um, they want uh, to complete their body as maybe nature intended. Um, it brings them a sense of, uh, uh, body balance, um, security, I guess, and most importantly, control. The silicon comes in two parts in clip clear, and then you mix it up on the machine um, with all these various um, skin tones and colours. And this will all be scratched in so all the colour is in the material. All these different skin tones have all been applied in thin layers and then scratched into the material. Some of them are really fun, like uh, there was one for a military guy and it was kind of a combination of realistic, had realistic elements and alternative ones, so it had realistic toes and um, I've been with him when he's worn it and it really kind of confuses people because they see it and like, oh, you're, I can see that you're, you've got your foot, but what's going on with the rest? How is that possible? Hang on, that's not your foot, is it? I like making those kind of pieces because the conversation has changed from one of pity to one of amazement. I think the alternative limbs kind of definitely open up uh, a dialogue and it's a kind of unspoken dialogue which is, look at this, this, I'm giving you something to look, if you want to come and speak to me about my prosthetic I'm clearly kind of happy for you to, to, to talk about it um, as I'm expressing myself. and. Um, Rather, you know, if you want to stare at something, then I'll give you something good to stare at. <laughs>